Hi everyone, my name is Megan and this is how to be a super friend at home. Today we are going to talk about transportation and how this can sometimes relate to people who have certain types of disabilities. Now transportation is a big long word with a ton of letters, but all it means is the way that we get around from place to place. And these places that we're going to, they're not places that we can walk to, they're not close by, it's not our next door neighbor's house or something like that. They're places that are far enough away that we need a machine, we need something on wheels, like a car or a bus or an airplane. And I guess a rocket ship too can count as a form of transportation. But if I had to guess, I would say that none of us watching this have ever been on a rocket ship before. But if you have, let me know, because that would be pretty darn cool. So with transportation, sometimes some, for someone with a disability, they may not be able to get up and get into a car or get into a bus, how you or I can sometimes do that. So what's pretty cool about all the scientists and engineers that work on designing you know, cars and buses, they're always thinking about how these modes of transportation can be used by more people so that everyone can enjoy going from place to place and not having a problem doing so. So I know in my middle school, one of my classmates was in a wheelchair. So if we ever went to a chorus competition, we always had a bus that had a platform where he could wheel his wheelchair to, and then he would strap in, the bus driver would move up the platform, get my classmate into a seat, strap him in. And it was great because he could ride the bus with the rest of us and we didn't have to worry how we were all going to get there together and sing our hearts out. Now, one thing I want to know is, have you ever imagined what it would be like to drive a car? I know that I used to do that even when I was very little, way before I was studying for my driver's license test. And when I would think about driving a car, I would think about all the things I would have to do in order to drive that car safely. I would need my eyes to see the traffic in front of me. I would need my ears to hear if someone is honking their horn at me or if there's an ambulance coming and I need to pull over. I imagine what it would be like to hold onto the steering wheel with both hands and what it would be like to use my right foot to use the brake and the gas and use my hand to put the car in drive and reverse and park it. There's a lot going on when it comes to driving a car. If you've never thought about it before, try to watch next time you're in the back seat and see how whoever is driving uses all these things just to get the car working. But one thing that I never thought about was how I would learn to drive if, let's say, I couldn't use my feet. Let's say I didn't have a right foot. Or if I did, maybe I was in an accident and I broke my leg, how would I use my car then? Or what if my legs just didn't work very well? They didn't work the same as some of my friends who can run and jump and climb. I never really thought about what that would be like. And something that is so cool about these car engineers and designers that I was talking about before, they have found ways to make cars so that people can use their hands to control the brake and the gas. And I just think that is the coolest thing. So if you want to watch a video about how this works for this one company, let's go to YouTube together. So, or it's actually not on YouTube, I'm sorry. You're gonna go to Google and type in hand controls for cars. And once you do that, once you hit search, just scroll down and the first thing that will pop up is this, it says Mobility Works. And this title is Hand Controls for Cars, Trucks, SUVs, and Vans. And if you click on it, this is a company that works on cars and how to get one, but they actually have some pretty cool videos. So if you watch this video right here, it's pretty quick and it will show you how someone who can't use their legs in a car like you or I may be able to do it shows you how they're still able to operate the car and drive around from place to place. So if you wanna watch that video with me, go ahead and do it now and then we can talk about it together. All right, everyone, did you enjoy that video? Like I said, I thought it was so cool to see how these cars work. 
And I'm sure there are much, much, um, like many other adaptations for cars that I've never even heard about. And I think it's great that these designers have in mind how everyone can enjoy using these pieces of technology. Now we're gonna read a book together and I could not find one specifically about someone who has a disability and someone who wants to drive a car. But I did find an awesome book that talks about what it would be like to design your own car. So if you want to go to YouTube with me, we are going to just go to YouTube and at the top of your screen for search, if you type in story time train, if I built a car, just like this, this video will come up. And if you wanna read it with me, go ahead and do it now. And then we can come back and talk about it. Okay, everyone, did you enjoy that video? I really loved that book. And it's funny, like I said before, I never really imagined what it would be like to design my own car. And this, the little boy in the book, he had so many ideas. It was kind of crazy, right? I like that the book encouraged us to use our imaginations and to think what it would be like if we had the power to design something like that. And that's pretty cool. If I had to design my own car, I think I would want it to have a water dispenser because I always get so thirsty when I'm on long car trips and that would be so convenient. I wouldn't even have to stop and go find a water bottle. What would you put in your car if you could design it? Maybe you would paint it a cool color. Maybe you would want flames shooting out the sides or super soft seats, soft as one of your favorite blankets at home. Really the possibilities are endless. But one thing I hope is that you thought a little bit about how you could design a car so that people that you meet during the day who may be a little different than you, maybe they're shorter than you and they can't really see out the windows. Maybe they're like my classmate, like I mentioned before, who was in a wheelchair. I wonder if you thought about how you could design a car that would make it so easy to use for many other people. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this discussion today about transportation, getting around from place to place, and how there are ways to design cars, buses, trains, you got it, that can be used by people with disabilities. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, everyone.